Oh, oh, did you hear about the Wesley Snipes thing that came out recently? No. Well, uh, there was the rumor that while filming Blade Trinity, which mm-hmm. is, you know, Blade Part 3, yeah. that uh, Wesley Snipes ended up choking the director. Yeah. Oh, what's that guy's name? Oh, uh, oh, was that Goyer? David Goyer. Yes. Oh, I, I, I didn't. I never heard about that. But yeah, I know it, yeah. there was some tension. According to to Patton Oswalt, who was in the film as well, mm. uh, you know, he said that he tried to strangle the director, and then um, Wesley Snipes. So Wesley Snipes actually responded to this. He had an interview with the Guardian. He said, "Let me tell you one thing." If I try to strangle David Goyer, you probably wouldn't be talking to me right now. Black Eye with Muscle strangling the director of a movie is going to go into jail. I guarantee mm-hmm. you. Yeah, I would think. Yeah. He also I'm, said, I'm not, this is the part of the challenges that we as African-Americans face here in America. These microaggressions. The presumption that one white guy can make a statement and that statement stands as true. Why would you believe his version of it is true? Because they are predisposed to believing the black guy is always the problem. Yeah, I mean, I'm 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 always going to be honest with things the way I see it, and don't mind if I'm wrong because every time I'm wrong, I, I learn something. But in my assessment of that scenario, what built up to that, there was, um, you know, there there were things that I mean, I've learned a lot from Wesley uh, directly. Okay, so you guys are close. Yeah, man, I look, I call him Big Brother all the time. He, okay. He he contacted me about a week ago, just in in praise of uh, the movie my my wife and I did. I mean, he comes up. What you just happened to not catch him at the house? He comes over for the fights as well. Okay, you know Wesley. You know, I mean, one couple freaked out because Wesley was throwing away some trash, right? And the the, the bag was filled, and he he wrapped the bag up and took it out, and they were like. Was that Wesley Snipes? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> well, what is it? Did it, it? Because the bag was filled. Because, <laughs> hey, you know, you know how it is at my yeah, place. It's, of course, it, it's family, right? Um, I remember coming to uh, to set uh, to visit. Um, I think a, it was a combination of man uh, frustrations. Think about that Blade Trinity. Damn it! You do you realize what was happening? They basically were trying to take Blade away from him. Blatantly. What do you mean? Okay. Check. Just, just, we, there was um, uh, Ryan Reynolds and uh, Jessica Biel, I believe, in it. <laughs> they were doing things where it was like, just, there's, there'll be Blade poster, Jessica Biel, Blade. <laughs> okay. Ryan Reynolds, Blade. Man, how this man is responsible for the success of that movie. Hundred percent. They're trying to take the movie away from him and say, "This is Blade." Now, this is just this is this clear stuff that you can use. You can check on it. The 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 mistake I believe. Wesley might have made is that this should be a this should be a chess game and when your emotions I mean it's kind of like that you know <laughs> like Don Corleone is don't let don't let people know what you're thinking you know when he says to Sonny, Sonny Corleone I think once you become emotional you fall into that trap and um, that frustration, rightly so, gave the excuse for them to, to blame him for the, the demise of the movie. I, I ask everybody, look at, look at, see with your own eyes what was going on. And when you're going, okay, you know, like if I was, <laughs> if I was doing Spawn 2, and they were like, here, here's these other two white folks who are not action people. And we want to start calling it Spawn, right? So you, you see, you got it right there. Yeah. But the, how, the do you, how do you, you you're going to say, here's Jessica Biel, Blade. 
Right. Wow. And there was no more Blade wow. movies uh, after that. That was the last Blade movie. They did a TV show with uh, Sticky Fingers. Yeah. But that kind of came and went. Yeah, but like, come on, that's blatant. Blatant. Yeah. Let me, where, let, let's go, let's, let's make things um, fair. Let's look at the white movie where there's a lead character and then they try to transition it into two other people and call it the same. Rambo, you know, like imagine that. And then you have, you know, Carl Weathers, Rambo. <laughs> Think, just let's put, right. let's, I got you. Yeah, like, or somebody who's. Uh, I mean, or Carl or, Weathers, or, 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 Rocky. Rocky, exactly. Yeah, right. That would be perfect. You don't, you don't see it. Yeah, you Carl Weathers, Rocky. No, I got you. I got you. And so, yeah, the thing is, okay, blatant, like, what, what? What that that that's um so but the thing is to learn from that and I've learned a great deal is to go mm-hmm okay I got it the things that have been said to me like I've talked about before well you would be too bad you're black you know you'd be great for this movie or that okay I see the way you think I see the way you you know executives think you're you think that you can say that to me and that I should be fine. Now, if I get mad at it uh, and and say something, yeah, I, I become a target. Well, yeah, I'm. This is this is chess, not, not checkers. I've learned that there are ways that, um, and even though it's not super cons- conspiratorial, if you fall into that trap and make yourself a target. They will use you as a target. Yep, I agree. The trick is not to fall for that. Yeah, 